And the tokenomics are always variable. I will say that the actual burn function and how the logic in the smart contract work, I'll kind of give a brief overview in case people don't really know, or at least there's still be like a recorded version of it. But so essentially when you have a liquidity pool, you have a certain amount of ETH in the pool and you have a certain amount of tokens and the value of the tokens equals the value of ETH. So imagine if we have 10 ETH and 10 Cliff tokens in the liquidity pool, therefore 10 Cliff equals 10 ETH. What the Cliff contract is able to do is it can detach, it can trick the liquidity pool, it can detach some of the Cliff tokens. So imagine we detach five Cliff tokens and then we, we burn them, we send them to the dead address. What you're now left with is five Cliff equaling 10 ETH. So you've had a 100% price increase just based on the logic in the smart contract. Okay, and that's at like the push of a button. I mean, it should almost be illegal. Like it, it doesn't even make sense how you're able to create like a 100% price impact just based on the smart contract. But the crazy thing is that you can continue to break this liquidity pool down to the point where like, let's say we detach another four cliff out of the LP. So now in the LP, you're left with one cliff and still the 10 ETH. So now, therefore, one cliff equals 10 ETH. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So, yeah, so you can keep going from there, man, because all of these can be broken down into fractions. And so you can detach, like, say, 0.9 cliff. And so then you're left with 0.1 cliff equaling 10 ETH. That's the hard logic of the smart contract. It's a very interesting concept. Now, that is a strength. However, with, you know, without the community and the understanding of how the smart contract works and the community support, it can only do so much. Cliff has an incredible, incredible community. And so how we're moving forward is like that is essentially its main utility is the community. And if the team can figure out how to benefit that community, get everybody involved, keep morale high and with goals that everybody's working together on, I mean, that truly is its biggest strength. You're talking about, when you look at large organizations, maybe 2,000 to 10,000 people. Cliff has that many people. If it truly was to be some type of organization uh, to mobilize a workforce with manpower, sure. it has that many people. And you can see with the board Cliff NFTs, that community is, is insane. There's 500 people that literally they do work in a community. It's really amazing.